documents required for di filing a divorce petition in India, all the basic doc because if okay, there is no such prerequisite documents required. The legislation does not tell that only if you have these documents you can come and file a divorce petition. There is no such. Okay, the the what the court seek is that if your ma if your marriage is registered under the any of the legislations, so you have to submit the document like your marriage certificate. That is a basic document. Okay. Second thing would be the address proof of each of the parties. The purpose of seeking address proof is that each court has its own jurisdiction. If I'm a resident of Bangalore, I'm married in Bangalore. Okay. I stay together with my wife in Bangalore, meaning that my court, which has jurisdiction as the family court Bangalore. I have to file, I cannot go to Delhi and file a petition. Neither I can go to Hyderabad and file a petition. The purpose of seeking an address proof is that to obtain or to consider what is a jurisdictional, what is the jurisdiction of the court, that is a basic document. So there are three important documents which can, which can act as an address proof. Okay. One is the address proof of the husband where he can file a case. For example, he is a resident of Bangalore. He has an address proof of Bangalore. Address proof of a wife. Husband is a resident of Bangalore. Wife is a resident of Delhi. A case can be filed in Bangalore as well as Delhi. Third one is a marriage where it has been registered. For example, husband is staying in Bangalore. Wife is staying in Delhi. And the marriage was registered in Hyderabad. So these three places will act as a jurisdictional courts to file a case. Or there is one more thing wherein you both last resided together. For example, they both last resided for their work profile in Chennai. So based on the residence of you both residing together, you can file a divorce petition over there. The important aspect is that any moment you can file a civil petition before the courts for transfer of the case. If a wife feels that husband has filed a case in Bangalore, which she cannot go because she is staying somewhere else around 400 or 500 kilometers from Bangalore. She is staying with her own parents. She, it is not possible for her to day, day in and day out for the court proceedings. What she can do is that if it is within the state, she can approach the concerned high court, jurisdictional high court, file a transfer petition seeking for transfer. One aspect, if it is between states, for example, it is between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu then the party has to approach the Supreme Court because the civil petition has to be filed before the Supreme Court for transfer. This is one aspect. Second aspect with regards to the documentation uh, documentation purposes that if they are seeking for the custody of the child. So the custody of the child documentation where we look into is that what best the child will get from either of the spouse. If husband is in a situation to provide proper amenities, proper food, clothing and shelter and education and is not being penalized or being, of, or being recognized as an offender under any of the statutes, then the husband can seek custody. So the welfare of the child will be the paramount important when they are deciding about this aspect. So this has to be proven by the husband and wife. Sec Third, third most document is with regards to the regular documentation like your personal identity, like your PAN card or other card, which is to identify whether you are that person. Okay. The rest all documents will be with regards to the witness or with regards to the documentary value that is the primary evidence or the secondary evidence. So these are the basic documents. There is no such law which tells that only if this document is there because unregistered marriage also divorce can be granted because there is no mandate. Obviously, Supreme Court time and again has told that please go for registration. Kindly register a marriage. But there is no full-fledged legislation which mandates that if a person is getting married, he has to register. 